I'm probably not the top GP in this world, nor the top university professor, but I am a practicing GP who enjoys teaching as a secondary activity. And by all accounts, I'm not bad at it. Coming up. Okay, so um, one thing I'd like to consider is who, who needs to take private equity courses? And in my experience, we've got three broad segments. So, so one group would be fund managers themselves. So you might have a GP, who maybe a recently formed GP or a, a GP who's recently hired quite a few people. And often they will send some of their more junior people or their mid-level people to a, to a course. Sometimes everybody will go as also as a function of a, a form of team building. So we've got GPs. Um, we've also got uh, other types of private equity investors who are not GPs like sovereign wealth funds or, or the banks who may have a private equity group within or other types of financial institutions. And what they'll do is they may send their team to get uh, some refreshment on, on private equity. And then we've got uh, people who want to break into private equity from a related sector. And then there's really three levels as the more junior person who's got maybe some background in investment banking or accounting or consulting who wants to move into private equity. That's one group. The other group is maybe somebody in mid-career who wants to acquire more knowledge about private equity so they can try and go and raise their own fund or join a fund. And then a later stage executive who's maybe working with a private equity fund as an operating partner and wants to really just understand a bit better uh, the way of thinking of the private equity fund with whom he or she is cooperating. And then beyond that, you've also got service providers like law, law firms, accountants and others who also may benefit from private equity firms along with regulators and others. So quite a wide gamut of people. And it's really a question of choosing the right course that would be suitable uh, for them. So it's always interesting to know, um, you know, one person's track record. So as an instructor, who have I taught? Well, I've taught uh, various types of, uh, of institutions. So maybe let's, let's have a look at all four. Well, the, first, the first group that I've taught is GPs themselves, particularly in emerging markets. So what I've done there is I've sat down with the whole teams and maybe we've done a kind of intensive course, maybe focusing specifically on an area where they would like to boost their knowledge, maybe portfolio management or exits. And here we can, you can see here on the screen some examples of GPs that I've, I've worked with in the past. The second group is sovereign wealth funds. So these are typically either LPs in uh, private equity fund managers or co-investors and they also they typically would have their own uh, direct investment team as well. And so I would typically have taught the private equity investment group within the sovereign wealth fund plus other members of staff who may be coming into contact with the P group and want to understand a little bit better what they've done. As you can see from the logos here, it's been mostly in the Middle East and Asia where I've had the most experience of working with sovereign wealth funds. Last category, not the third category rather, is um, developmental financial institutions as well as government. DFIs are a big feature of the uh, emerging markets private equity world. And here you can see some of the main names which I've worked for. I could point, for example, to EBRD, where I was for three years the in-house instructor teaching all EBRD bankers about private equity. Others include African Development Bank, the European Commission, Islamic Development Bank, uh, Nigerian Securities and Exchange Commission, and various others. The fourth category is uh, banks, corporates, and other different uh, institutional investors. And these are interested in private equity because they may have their own team uh, within private equity. Uh, one example is I, I did a course for MIS in Sri Lanka where they had a venture team. And so they have, there'll be different motivations for these investors, but I've got plenty of experience of working with all of these. So in the table that you can see above, I'm listing the nine main courses that I'm, uh, I'm offering. And so they're all slightly different and address the different audiences. So you've got firstly, the three-day uh, and five-day foundation courses, which are kind of entry-level courses, which cover uh, the whole range of, of private equity. And then you've got the two uh, overview courses of one and two days, which are more managerial type courses, which are designed to give an overview of private equity to people who are not working in private equity, but just would simply like to get a general sense of, of what it's all about without necessarily pursuing it. Then we have the specialised courses, which would come in to, for people who are more involved in private equity. 
And one specialised course is for deal making and negotiation. The second one is for monitoring the portfolio. And the third one is regarding exits. Then following that, we've got the four day online course, which is specifically designed to be delivered online. And finally, we've got the soft skills course and pitching course, which is a course very much focused on pitching and developing soft skills in private equity, which can be sometimes overlooked. I'd like to say a few words about certification and my competition, well, just a few words. So my courses are all certified by the UK CP Continuous uh, Professional Development Institute, which means that anyone attending my courses will get a certificate and they can apply credits towards, for example, a CFA or postgraduate degree or some other kind of professional qualification that they're doing. So all my courses are fully accredited. Who are my competitors? Well, I've got basically universities doing a postgraduate and ad hoc courses and training companies. So why do I think I may offer something more than them? Well, as far as universities are concerned, they tend to offer courses from academics. So these are people who may have a great wide knowledge of private equity, but sort of a bit from 30,000 feet without really getting into uh, living, having lived through the nuts and bolts of it. So the courses tend to be a little bit high level and a little bit theoretical. They'll often bring in private equity fund managers as kind of guest speakers and the like, but these guys are not uh, qualified teachers, so they'll tend to just sort of talk about what they do uh, you know, for a brief 40 minute period without really giving you a didactic experience. So these university level courses are a bit theoretical, but if you do want to get for CV purposes, a university branded certificate, obviously that's the way to go for you. Regarding training companies, well, it's a slightly different story. Training companies obviously are more focused on uh, doing tailored, customized training for companies and the like. Uh, but if you do hire a training company, they normally work by uh, using subcontractors just like me. So if you were to look for a course of the training company, the chances are you might end up with me because I'm a subcontractor to several training companies. Okay, so I'd like to talk a bit about the methodology of my courses. So each course is divided into a 90 minute module, which is more or less self-contained. So if you miss part of one day, you're going to still be able to follow what's going on next because you know sometimes people are busy they get called away so in that sense I try and make it very practical so it's a 90 minute module so each course will have four 90 minute modules during the day and then within the module typically what we have is we have the first part of the module where I talk about the topic with the aid of some PowerPoint slides and then for the second part of the module we do an exercise which helps to cement and reinforce the concept taught. And these are very practical uh, cases and exercises which I've developed and written myself based upon real life experience. So compared to university type case studies, they're much more nuts and bolts going into the guts so that you've actually got actionable experience uh, that you can use in your career. And then finally, at the end of each of the talks, I give some links to some YouTube videos which I pre-recorded, which can repeat the topic in case people want to sort of refresh it and revise it one more time. And I find that that's a good combination. Each module self-contained for a day gives you the information in the right way. So when it comes to the question of, you know, why choose, uh, why choose me as a, as a trainer? So let me uh, give you a few arguments. The first is let's look at the stats. You know, numbers always count in private equity. So in the last five years, so from the year 2014 to 2019, I've delivered 63 training courses over Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Asia, a total of just under 700 students, an average class size of 11, and then on a scale of uh, zero to 10, the average rate of my courses has been 8.9. So close enough, uh, close enough to nine out of 10. So a lot of experience uh, to a very wide variety of clients across a lot of geographies. In addition, to go along with the numbers that I've just given you, I thought I'd make it a bit, give it a human touch. So if you go to my LinkedIn profile, and look for the recommendations and endorsement section, you'll see these eight individuals who all attended my course, or two of them were, actual, were actually organizers of courses, and I was taking the role of the expert. And here you can see a summary of what they thought. And so, um, all very flattering, of course, but it's real. And if you go to my LinkedIn profile, you can find out who they are and, and what they said in more detail. Okay, so I hope you found all this very useful. I've gone into a lot of detail because I thought that would be quite uh, helpful. And so if you want to know more, please contact me. You can find me on LinkedIn or email me 
or you can contact me through one of the training companies with whom I work. So hope to see you soon.